So Inventor has dynamic input very similar to AutoCAD, and it's a great tool for 2D geometry creation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the line tool here. I'm going to start a line and notice how it pops up with these different coordinates, which I could use. But in this case, I'm just going to pick a point. And now what it's looking for, for me to do is obviously start to find the geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point here and zero is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in one. Now at this point, I'm happy with the zero because it's going to snap horizontal, but I'm going to hit enter and notice that it, not only did it draw the line at one unit, but it also dimensioned it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say 0.5. I'm going to hit enter and notice that it defined the length of the line and it also dimensioned it. Now what would happen if I came up here in an angle? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go 0.5 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab over and now notice that it's asking for the dimension. So the key here with this dynamic input is the tab key. The tab key is what allows me to bounce back and forth. So I want this to be 120 degrees. I hit tab and now I can say, well, it really should have been 0.75 and I can keep tabbing back and forth until I'm satisfied with my inputs. Once I'm satisfied, now I hit the enter key and we can see that it's actually gone through and defined that geometry. Now, it will only define dim dimensions for the values that I actually enter in values for. So if I come in here point, point 0.5 and I hit enter, notice that it did the distance because I actually keyed in a distance, but it didn't do the angle. So it's only gonna do the values that I define um, dimensions on. So that's kind of the dynamic input with an inventor. It's specifically for creating 2D geometry and you'll see it kind of on everything. So if I come in here and create a circle, I can come in here and I can say, you know, I want this to be 0.25. Notice that it, it defined the diameter of that circle and dimensioned it. If I do a rectangle here, notice that I can say, I want this to be 0.5. I'm gonna tab over, I want this to be 0.25. I hit enter and we can see it's actually defined that geometry. So it's just a method to actually specify the sizes of the geometry and dimension at the same time.